Hello, I'm Brian Scott Smith for World Risk and Insurance News, and this is our Week in Review. Last week on RIN TV. Monday morning headlines from SNL included an Aon report that says the U.S. suffered more than $4 billion in economic losses due to NatCats in August. A group of business organizations and companies sent a letter to House leaders supporting TRIA renewal. Standard & Poor's believes it would take two simultaneous shock events to push reinsurance rates upward again. S&P also warned that traditional reinsurers will face greater competition from companies both inside and outside the reinsurance sector, companies like Google. And Traveler's CFO believes driverless cars could mark the next big step in reducing the frequency of auto insurance claims. RIN TV coverage of the rendezvous in Monte Carlo began with interviews of notable industry leaders, including Hamilton Insurance CEO Brian Dupereau, Gen Re Chairman, President and CEO Tad Montrose, ANV CEO Matt Fairfield, AIR Worldwide President and CEO Ming Li, Guy Carpenter's Head of EMEA Strategy Management Chris Klein, Artemis Owner and Specialist on Alternative Capital Steve Evans, Keith Brillette and Woods Managing Director Joe Beebe, and Joe Luaji from Property Claim Services. RIN TV was also on site in Atlanta for the annual NAPSLO convention where we spoke with Executive Director of NAPSLO, Brady Kelly, Lexington EVP and Head of Strategic Development, Matt Power, Worldwide Facilities President and COO, Ron Austin. We'll have continued coverage from the Monte Carlo Rendezvous and the annual NAPSLO convention next week. If you missed these or any of our previous programs, watch them now from our on-demand library and make sure to join us next time for more world risk and insurance news right here on RIN TV.